Hi everyone, this is Father Aaron Kuhn, and this is another one of our Lenten Moments of Study together. What is the difference between mortal and venial sin? Well, we know that anything that we would do that is not in accord with what God desires for us, we call that a sin. It's, it's an offense against the right ordering of how we're supposed to be living in relationship with God. So um, just put it into the regular context of our life. Uh, there are things that we know that are the proper ordering of life at home and how we're supposed to live with one another as brothers and sisters and as children towards our parents. And let's say we say a naughty word. Well, that's out of the ordering of the life that we should be living with one another. Or if we call one another names, or if we become violent with one another, all of these can be ways in which we know that we've gone out of the ordering of the life that we're supposed to live. And whether it's uh, against God as um, a commandment that we're violating, or just simply something that would be in the same family of the, of the commandment, um, we know that those sins, some of them are lesser, and some of them are more serious. And particularly when they are serious sins, if they would cause a death in the relationship between us and our neighbor, uh, or between us and the Lord God, then uh, we call that serious matter. And then when you add together with the serious matter, the fact that we know that it's wrong, that we have a good understanding, that we know that we did something wrong, and yet we still choose to do it anyway, that is what we, those three things together, it has to be serious. You have to know that it's something you're not supposed to do that's against God's ways. And you still choose to do it anyway. When you put those three things together, that is a deadly sin for our soul. And it, we might still be living on the outside with our bodies and our soul moving around. Um, but it, our soul is moving closer and closer towards spiritual death in that moment. And if we were to die and be unrepentive of that sin, um, that would be something where we would, we would be choosing to say, I don't want to fix it, and I don't want to go to heaven, and I don't want, want to be with you, God. And so therefore, it kills our soul. And we move and more and more in, in the hell of our life at that point. We, we move more and more in the life of hell, and we just simply do not want to leave, and we go into nothingness. Now, that sounds all kinds of scary and everything else, but the whole point is that we have to at least know that that's the, the reality of serious sin. It's something that is serious, you know it is, and yet you choose to do it anyway. Now, um, so if any one of those three things is missing then it no longer is a deadly sin or a mortal sin or a serious sin. Instead, it is a venial sin. So sometimes, let's say, um, let's give an example of a venial sin. You're just having fun and teasing your brother or your sister, and their feelings get a little hurt by it. Uh, we would say to ourselves, well, it's not serious where the relationship between us is dead. Um, but we can imagine where someone starts bullying another person to the point where there's no relationship of love between us anymore. We're afraid of one another, um, or the, the person that's being bullied is afraid of the bully, and the bully is not being kind and is not showing love and is not sorry. We would say that there's a death there in that relationship. And until it gets healed, those two people are not going to want to be around one another in heaven forever. Um, and so we have to, again, be sorry for what we did and then ask for God's forgiveness and healing. So we have to be sorry. And then the damage itself needs to be healed in order for us to fully enjoy divine life. And so just like when we talked about purgatory, um, you have to be sorry in order to make it to heaven. And then that purifying needs to happen to the soul in order to be able to enjoy divine life for heaven. And that's the purgatory that we talk about. So for serious sins those mortal sins, those deadly sins, we, we need to go to confession in order to rebuild the communion between us and the Lord God. So it's very important that if we ever fall into serious sin, if we ever violate one of the Lord God's commandments that we know there's a serious violation, we have to go to confession. Well, what if it doesn't feel serious? 
Well, sometimes we do things that they don't feel bad to do them necessarily, but they still cause a rupture. Let's think of that bully for a moment. The bully, as they're doing the sin of being very, very mean and causing death in the relationship between them and, and the person that they're bullying, the bully themselves, they're enjoying being hurtful. So just because they don't just because it doesn't hurt them in that particular moment, they're not feeling bad about doing it, doesn't mean it's not serious or that they don't know or that it's not, um, that they're, I mean, that they're freely choosing it, right? So the, all three things are fulfilled in that moment. They, they, they are doing something serious that's causing damage. They know that they're doing it and they're freely making a decision to do it anyway. Again, it doesn't feel bad for them, but they have fallen into mortal sin if they've gone really, really bad like that, right? Like, and so the, what, what commandment is that violating? Thou shalt not kill. Sometimes emotional death and spiritual death are just as deadly as physical death. It might not be the, the killing of the body, but it can be the killing of the soul and the killing of one's emotions. So... Um, that's just an example, and we can go through all of God's commandments, all the Ten Commandments, and see that there might be variations on that, that uh, we look as we, um, let's, so let's walk through them really quick. Uh, you should have no other gods but me. Well, it's kind of fun to do Ouija boards and look at tarot cards. I'm sorry, it might be fun to do those things, but those are, uh, those are explicitly against God. And so we do not do them, and that would be a violation of the commandment. Well, um, what about taking the Lord's God's name in vain? There are a lot of people who use the Lord's name in a very foul way on a regular basis, and they, they are enjoying doing it as they do it, but it's very wrong for them to do whenever we take God's name in vain. So um, that's a terrible sin, right? And that's a serious matter sin. And then um, having uh, keeping holy the Lord's day? Well, there are a lot of people who would enjoy sleeping in and not going to Mass, or choosing to go to a sporting event instead of going to Mass, they're enjoying doing it. Uh, they might feel some level of guilt, but they say, well, it doesn't feel serious. Well, it is serious, whether it feels that way or not. So that can be a deadly sin to the soul as well. Huh? And then honoring our father and our mother. It doesn't mean that we have to be blindly obedient to them, but it does mean that we are respectful towards them and honoring towards them. Um, and so we can have violations of those relationships where the relationship dies between us and between them. And then uh, thou shalt not kill. We already gave that example. Um, and then thou shalt not um, commit adultery. And so violating the spousal relationship by having relations with someone other than our spouse. Um, or we um, then you have thou shalt not steal and stealing items from someone. Then we'd say bearing false witness against our neighbor. So the stealing one, let's make sure we understand that that would be really serious if we are stealing someone's car, <laughs> you know, where it, it creates a complete mistrust between one another. Uh, or we steal something from a store in, in a major way that's that's very, that's expensive and that, that's wrong. Um, so those can be serious sins, huh? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. It means testifying in court, but by lying about someone or using the truth as a weapon in order to ruin their life. That can also be against the commandments that way. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's spouse or thy neighbor's goods. And we can see how coveting is wanting to sort of uh, ruin those relationships by stealing and taking away from them and wanting their stuff in a way that's really serious inside of our heart. So all of those things, they, they might feel good as we do them. And we might say to ourselves, I, I don't feel bad doing it. So how can it be so serious? Mm -hmm. Well, it still can be, uh, even if we don't act like it and don't think about it that way. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, make sure you go to confession regularly. Make sure you uh, always go and ask God's forgiveness for any sins that we've ever committed. He is so merciful. He is happy to do that for us. Let's pray for one another. I'm praying for you, and I look forward to the uh, seeing you again at church and spending Easter time with Jesus risen from the dead. God bless you. Mm -hmm.